I am going to be making some of these low carb peanut butter cookies. Hopefully they're good. I am not going to be using the actual recipe. I just did it in half because if I don't like it, I don't want to waste a bunch of ingredients. So to start off, I have a half a cup of peanut butter, two eggs I'm going to be adding. I'm going to add a, about a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I am using the Sweet Mates because this stuff is absolutely amazing. I think I've posted this in a lot of my videos. If you have a Dollar Tree or a Kmart, they sell this for a buck and it tastes just like sugar. And it's not. But it's no aftertaste, no nothing. It is so good. And with this, you don't really need a lot, lot. I know the actual recipe that's going around on Facebook and Pinterest and all that calls for a half a cup of sugar, kind of see or sweetener, or whatever. Kind of seems a lot to me. So I just have a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna be adding to this of my sweet mate. So when it comes to the sugar part, or sweetener part. You're going to have to adjust to your likings. Because I don't want way too much and be overbearing. And then you're going to mix this up till it's well combined. Alrighty. Now, with this recipe, you're supposed to be able to roll these in balls. I don't know how that's possible. How would you roll this in balls? It's not like a thick recipe to, you know what I mean, to roll in balls. That's very strange. So, I am going to spoon this in spoonfuls on my Silpat mat. And we're going to see what happens with this. Because I know there's a lot of people that are bragging about this recipe. See, and it's good, it's delicious, tastes just like a peanut butter cookie, and it gets crunchy. And I've literally read this from hundreds of people, but like I said, they also claim you could roll this in balls. So I'm going to spread this out and bake it, and I will show you what it looks like and how it turns out. I mean, even if I don't like it, I'm just going to show you the video today, because normally I, if I don't like something, I don't post it, but I'm going to start... Well, to my surprise, they didn't smush and run into each other like I thought they might. Instead, they stayed perfectly in their little shapes, even though the liquid or mixture was runny. And they're golden brown on top, as you can see. And a little hot. Got a little brown. I like my cookies. A little burnt, my peanut butter cookies. And I tried, and I don't want to get too, too burnt, but... Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be very honest here. They're good. But they're not crunchy. At all. Which is what I was hoping for, is a crunchy peanut butter cookie. Low carb. But they are really, really good. I can't lie about that. But... They're like a soft batch cookie. And, yep. Let me stop being a pig and eating it. But if you're looking for a peanut butter cookie, a soft batch cookie, these are perfect. Very simple and easy to make. Not a lot of ingredients. Low carb, healthy, and all that good stuff. So, give them a try. And make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Hit the subscribe button, comment, like, share, and all that good stuff. And before I forget, because I'm half brain dead sometimes, I cook these at 350 for 10 minutes. And these are what they look like. Brownish. If you want them a little darker, then you just leave them in longer. But thank you. And thank you, Ashley. The recipe was good. I'm just one. Crunchy. Bye.